what we can't have is just an endless cycle of this area never being swept. New tonight, Mission Beach residents say they are fed up after their streets are piling up with trash. They say designated parking spots for e-scooters have remained uncleaned for months. 10 News reporter Rena Nakano spoke with a Mission Beach resident who says something has to be done. This one looks fresh. It's all fun and games until it's not. When rainy season does happen, you will see Mission Beach flooding. First, the problem was unsupervised parking. Now e-scooters are giving Mission Beach residents a new headache, their corralled parking spot. The storm drains get filled a lot of times with leaves, sand, debris. We have a lot of party rentals that go on here, which means excess trash. All of this should be picked up twice a week on Mission Boulevard. But since the city put in these parking corrals in July, Greg Knight says these areas have remained untouched. This is the kind of stuff that when this washes down, that's the stuff that goes into the storm drain and will actually block it up. Knight recently took these photos of a street sweeper driving around the corrals, even after he says the mayor's office promised street sweeping would not be affected. The city says if e-scooter companies have their devices staged in the corrals during sweeping hours, they, quote, have three hours to remove devices that are illegally parked or that are not complying with other rules. If action has not been taken within that time frame, the city will impound devices depending on the availability resources. But Knight says the problem is the street sweeping window is only two hours long, meaning the companies are not technically in violation under the three hour rule. That's why he's suggesting the city just does the work themselves. They have people that come on down in cars to give tickets. Maybe they need some people to come on down and move the scooters and then after the street sweeper goes by, they move the scooters back. If the city and the e-scooter companies don't get on the same page, he believes the citizens will be the ones who pay come the next storm. Rena Nakano, 10 News.